I'm very proud to say that this is New Zealand and to finally get the chance for us to show what this country looks like. So good. Cheers. Cheers. Yo. Mm. 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 Damn, it's good. <laughs> Today is finally the day that we are heading up to Cape Brianga, the very top of the North Island of New Zealand. As far as we've ever been. Well, yeah. I've never even been this far north. No, neither this, is, have I. this is as far as I've ever got. No. So that's really exciting, we're really looking forward to that. This morning, we were also looking forward to going down to the town of Pukanui to catch the sunrise. Um, but Dane got up first, I oh, was just saying bye to our host. <laughs> um, Dane got up first and um, was like, oh, the sunrise looks really looks nice really from nice here. Right here. <laughs> so we, have, we didn't really make the effort, we, we literally got up at like 5.30, caught that sunrise and went back until 7.30. So we're all packed up though. We're gonna go down, get a coffee for the road, actually scope out the wharf and what the water scene and everything looks like down here because just along this coast, in fact, both coasts now. Yeah, we're so far yeah. north that you can, you know, it's not too far between each of the coasts. It's a, a couple East of kilometers basically for the, the width of New Zealand at this point. Well, the tide's out, so it's not exactly not exactly the beautiful uh, no. beachside start I had anticipated. No, not much for our uh, coffee beachside picnic, <laughs> but that's okay. I think let's just keep going. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to be we're going to be battling the elements a little bit today. You can see the sun starting to go behind some clouds. It's, it's a bit not cold. Yeah, and we've actually ended up wearing the exact same. <laughs> I heard that grey tops and blue jeans and white <laughs> shoes are all the rage. Absolutely by accident. But anyway, let's just do it. Well, we've been driving for about an hour. It's been getting more and more beautiful the further north that we've gone. And we finally got to a point that we were like, pull over. You can see a couple of other cars there. There were a few more here. This is just such a stunning spot. So it's kind of, it just gets a lot more raw the, the further that we're going up. So we're looking out now across a whole bunch of sand dunes. There's just sort of little groupings of rocks. Stace was saying it looks very similar to if you've seen footage of the Komodo Islands in Indonesia, which is somewhere that we really, really want to get to, but it, re it feels like we're at the end of the earth. We're not even quite at Cape Re Shh, doing a video. Cooperanga yet, but we had to pull over because look at this view. Oh my god, can you not? That's my car. I'm just I'm very proud to say that this this is New Zealand and to finally get the chance for us to show what this country looks like. For those of you guys that have been following that saw our road trip that we did, sorry, I'm squatting, that's why Stace looks so big. <laughs> Anybody, if you saw the road trip that we did in uh, in Scotland and Ireland when we were talking about how, how the country looks and the similarities, mm. it's probably a lot more obvious now. We have officially made it as far as we can go in New Zealand. We've yeah. pulled into the, the one car park, which is actually not very large, is it? Yeah, it's pretty small considering I think that in peak season about 1300 cars roll through there per day yeah i don't know how that's it's possible. definitely not enough spaces but anyway this place is really sacred it's really special especially to the maori people because this is the point where they believe that the deceased their spirits they go they basically go into the water and head back to their homeland Got a nice story it's isn't a it really nice story and that's the view back across pretty much the viewpoint not that we were at to for your spirit to jump off. Oh shit, no. <laughs> There's walks everywhere actually. We can see them yeah, right the way up there, right down over the other side in terms of the trails. i oh, sorry, I just randomly thought there's also a, um, uh, a species of snail that are in, is endangered up in this area. Where did you run <laughs> some of the signs? Along with a bunch of other it's kind of like animals or mammals or something there. This whole area is kind of uh, restricted and quite well maintained. But um, yeah, we're gonna walk to the lighthouse. That's what I was trying to get to. There's a point 
point just out there where you can actually see where the Tasman Sea and the Pacific Ocean meets. Isn't that crazy? Like the parting of a haircut. Like the parting... Oh, I don't have a parting today. <laughs> like my parting every other day. <laughs> it's like my comb over. It looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> These whales know what's up. That's especially saying that the whales come into this little bay here to uh, scratch themselves on the rocks to rub off some barnacles and probably give themselves a little tickle. <laughs> Can't see any down there now though, which is a shame. We just read a sign that said that any of the red rock that you can see floating around, that's all volcanic. And that's from underwater eruptions and that over time, they've kind of like all pushed together and it's now come up above sea level. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> so we can see the distance to, I like how they do these signs, Seoul, London, Sydney, Tokyo. We've been to three of those, Tokyo. Mm, Tokyo. Mm. 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 Japan trip would be cool, well, hey? Be fun. <laughs> so anyway, this is the lighthouse. <laughs> So on the way back down from Cape Prianga, we saw this um, sign for giant tepaki sand dunes and we'd seen on the way there all these places had signs for um, like board hire. Yeah, like sand board. So we were expecting like some little sand dunes but these things were <laughs> like honestly the Sahara Desert. The hugest sand dunes I have ever seen. I mean we're wearing jeans and shoes so we're not exactly in the right state to be right climbing up there ourselves but no. we just went and had a look down a gravel road and you could just see the guys sandboarding down it looked like so much fun they must go so fast too because that was a huge incline it was yeah that's the downside is there's no way to get back up like once you've sand dune down you'd be sweaty <laughs> from walking there the sand would stick to you like sandpaper yeah and then you've got to like climb back up and we saw dudes in the car park just standing there like I feel like it's oh, a one and done you know like <laughs> <laughs> all over <laughs> so we got now it's food time of course and we want to stick with the kiwi the kiwi food tradition so we, um, our host from where we stayed last night told us about a place called... Honeybees? Honeybees. Was it? Yeah. Takeaways? Yeah, Honeybees Takeaway. And they, we, we saw a sign as we drove past before and it said pies. So that's, that's, enough, that's enough for us. A proper pie. <laughs> yeah. We've had two steak and cheese pies and one Coke Zero, please. Two homemade steak and cheese pie and a Coke Zero for 12 bucks. Smells so good. Cheers. Cheers. Yo. Mm. Mm. I only got pastry, but damn, it's good. <laughs> mm. 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 That's a good enough review, surely. <laughs> Ooh, buttery, mm. fresh, hot. Chunks of steak in there. That's what I like to see. Wow. <laughs> Best pie I've had in years. I don't think I've ever seen a human eat a pie so far. <laughs> I can't talk though. I'm almost finished mine too. No lie, that is so cheesy, so meaty. It doesn't have that like jelly in it that sometimes pies can have. So much so that I'm getting the keys, going to the car, I'm gonna get one more so that we can share it. <laughs> the area down there looks a bit familiar. You may remember that area from such vlogs as last our last vlog. <laughs> We sat down there in the last vlog, which was yesterday for us, to eat fish and chips, not knowing that we'd booked the place right across the road. We knew it was in Manganui somewhere, but didn't realise it was quite this close. It's literally right there. And we were staying, while well, we were eating, right down there. It's another really great little spot though. I think you've done a great job of picking the Airbnbs on this trip. Yeah, the, the, the batches. They've all been really, really nice. Yeah, the design of this place is amazing. We appreciate that kind of thing. We appreciate an espresso machine as well. Oh yeah. Um, but this place is just going to be a base for us for one night. We're not going to be here very long because tomorrow we're heading further south to a place called Pai here to do a day trip 
and I'm hoping that we're gonna get to see some dolphins. Oh, hey guys. Oh. 